the day, let's make some wavy text. It's a lot easier to do than you think in the Affinity software. And there's a couple cool features that make things a lot easier for you. So let's do it. So to make this work, the first thing you need to know is that at present, you can't do this in Affinity Designer. So you are gonna need Affinity Photo, but I'll show you how I do it. And that is starting off in Affinity Designer and it's personal preference. I like making text in this compared to in Affinity Photo, but I'm pretty sure you could do all of this in Affinity Photo and get the same results. So let's do this. So to make some wavy text, we're gonna need some text. So let's make some wavy text. These jokes are free, you know. Anyway, my first tip is once you've created your text is to duplicate it. So hit Control and J or on the ladle panel here, you can right click and go to duplicate. And the reason for that is if this text was a lot more intricate, a lot more detailed, and I spent a bunch of time trying to make it as nice as possible, and we went over and made the text wavy, if we wanted to go backwards and change the text again, then we'd have to start all over again and create the text. And I'll show you what I mean in a few seconds. Whereas now we've got our text layer copied and we'll hide that. So if in the future we do need to go back and re-wavy our text, we can at least start from the text that we're happy with. Or if we wanted to make changes to it, we can duplicate the original again and then make the text wavy again. So we've got two of these here. We'll hide one of them. Doesn't matter which one and we'll keep the other. But like I said, my preference is to design the text in Affinity Designer, but I guess I didn't do much designing, did I? Anyway, head over to File and Edit in Photo. So now we're in Photo and what we're gonna do is use the Warp tool, which you can find on the toolbar on the side. Now, before you click this, be aware that it will make your layer a pixel layer. So any changes you wanna make to your text while it's a vector layer, you can make now, but you'll see over here on the side that it's currently a text layer. As soon as we click the warp tool, you'll see the assistant pop up and say that it's rasterized the layer and turned it into a pixel layer. Now, any changes we wanna to make to this text can't be done, but if we want to, we could go back and use our duplicated layer to re-edit the text and then go back to the stage. So that's why we have that original ready to go if we ever need to make any changes. Smart thinking, eh? Basically with this warp tool, we have our outer edge and you literally grab a corner and make the text move. What's good with this is that we can add nodes wherever we like. So say for example, we go back to how we were before and we wanna add a node right here to make this area move. We double click, you'll see a little node pop up. No matter where we double click, we'll create another node and we can create as many as we like really. And with this, we can move different parts of the image in different ways and have more control than we would do if there were less nodes. And we can either grab the nodes or we can even grab the lines in between the nodes and bend the lines, or we can grab the outer lines and bend them as well. So we can make it longer like this, make some crazy looking text. And we've even got these handles that we can use like with the pen tool to create more of a curve and edit the text however we like. Now, another thing to remember is that as soon as we click off of this text, or if we hit apply in the top corner, these edits will be baked into the image, meaning we can't go back and re-edit this. So you've got to pretty much be sure this is how you want it to look. And if we do click off, you'll see that we have our image there. Also, what's very interesting though, is if we look down here at the history panel, you can see everything that's happened in this document so far. And right at the bottom, we've got our mesh warp. If for example, we made another mesh, you can see that the history completely disappears. But when you click the mesh tool, it creates like a sub history. So now if we make any changes, you'll see it starts writing this history. And then as we make more and more, it creates more and more history. And we can go back in this history if we need to. But then as soon as we click off the image or hit apply, we go back to the original history and all of those changes we made get grouped into one mesh warp, which is right at the bottom. And if we wanted to go to the previous mesh warp, we'd click backwards. And if we want to get rid of the mesh warp completely, we'd go back to when the layer was rasterized. But wait, there's another way that you can make this text wavy. If we go back to our original layer, so let's hide our current pixel layer, return our original text, duplicate that, just in case, hide the original again, using this layer, if we head over to the liquify persona, again, it does tell you that this needs to be a pixel layer or a mask. If we hit OK, if we right click on our layer and head down to rasterize, 
it becomes a pixel layer. Now we can go into the liquify persona. What we have is a grid shape and a bunch of tools down the side. Now the liquify persona is a whole video in itself. So if you do want a full video on it, drop it in the comments below. But essentially what we're gonna use is the tools on the outside here to move the text and make it as wavy as we want to. So if we make this brush a little bit smaller and using this push tool, we we'll literally just push the text and push the text and we've got ourselves some wavy text. Now again, as soon as we hit apply, we will bake this image in so we can't go back and change it again. So make sure you're happy with what you've got. So let's hit apply and we've got our wavy text. Now, if we wanted to, if we were using this as part of a bigger picture, we could head back over to file and then edit in designer. We have our image ready to use, but unfortunately this text is not editable anymore. If we wanted to edit it, we'd have to go back to our original, change the word, then go back in, make it a pixel layer, and then re-wavy it to how we like it. Now, hopefully in the future, Affinity will add something where we can actually make the text wavy, hopefully within Designer itself, but then also edit it after we've actually made the effect. We'll have to see and hopefully wait for that. But that's it. That's how you make some wavy text. Hopefully you learn at least one thing in this video. And if you like this video, which... I mean, if you got to this stage, you pretty much did. Don't forget to drop it a like and hit subscribe if you're new for more videos like this. All the socials are down in the description below. And if you do have any questions about the warp tool, drop those in the comments below as well. Or if you do know a different way that you can warp text, drop that in the comments below. We can all learn together. But as always, I've been Brown Bear. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.